So um, hello and welcome. Uh, today I'm going to tell you a bit about Forum, uh, the home of multiplayer crypto and why we're building a place for people to discover on-chain communities and even import and manage their uh, existing multi-sigs. Slide. So I'm James, co-founder uh, of Forum. Um, I was previously an electronic engineer at this is Peter. He dropped out of his PhD in maths and we were both early employees at startups. When we were working at these startups, we both got into investing. And really one of the first things that we done was to set up a group chat just to discuss how we were going to go about learning this new hobby. Uh, pretty soon, it became clear that we wanted to actually manage an investment club from this group chat. And when we realized that there was actually nothing at all in the market to let that happen, uh, we just went and built it ourselves. So our iteration over the last two years towards what our sort of ideal version of an internet native investment club looks like naturally led us towards DAOs. And over the last couple of years, we've, we've been iterating sort of like a, a web page where you can manage an investment DAO, a way that you can crowdfund an NFT and then like sort of own a fraction it with anyone who gets involved. And most recently, our work has been focused on account abstraction. And that's something that we've actually been presenting quite a lot on over the, at a number of conferences over the last year. Slide. So the problem that we're now trying to tackle, and uh, maybe you've got to imagine back to when you first got involved in crypto, right? So you had to go and write down this seed phrase. It was uh, a lot of like mental burden to sort of understand what you could do with this EOA. And once you got through that sort of awkward flow, you were just on your own, right? There was no real easy way that you could just discover your other friends that were involved in crypto uh, because nothing existed like that. And today, although these multiplayer crypto experiences are emerging, they're super fragmented across different apps, different UIs, and different use cases. Next slide. And so what we're building a forum is this one app to discover and manage all of your crypto groups in one place. So you can easily onboard friends just by sending them a link and they will create a pass key wallet, something that we were actually the first team in the world to launch earlier this year on Polygon. And what that means is that they just face ID, they create this pass key and that's them completely uh, on chain. There's no need for a seed phrase and there's no risk of, the, of them losing that. And so building on top of existing, oh, sorry, too soon. There we go, yeah, okay. Um, so building on top of existing uh, Web3 protocols like Safe and uh, like Party, DAO and Joke Grace, we actually let you import any of these existing multiplayer experiences into Forum and manage that with an XMTP group chat. So you've got the discoverability of more groups of, of like other groups, and then you've got the actual proposing and voting all managed within the chat. Next slide. And so over the course of the variant uh, program, we've actually expanded our view beyond this sort of narrow investment focus that we had discussed at the beginning of the slides. And, and now we're sort of incorporated in a much wider social view of this. So you can connect your forecaster, you can connect your lens, and then you can actually discover uh, other friends who are involved in Web3, what assets that they are interested in. And then from there, you can actually set up these XMTP group chats and form communities around these assets. Great. Thanks so much. Um, let's get started with some questions. Let me open up the Q&A. Uh, first one, uh, well, what are the target use cases that you're going after for Forum? So initially, we're going to try to focus people who are already involved in multiplayer crypto, right? So we know people are in safes. We know that the, the flow there is a bit fragmented of like, you've got safe, you've got like wherever you discuss the decisions you're going to make on that safe, and then you've got your wallet as well. So we want to onboard uh, like these sort of initial users who we know like definitely need this. And then as, as we move on from there, we just want to become like this sort of home where people actually discover much more enjoyable multiplayer experiences with either their friends or with people that they have sort of discovered as they've uh, like had their journey through through crypto. Got it. Can you talk a bit more about the passkey experience that, that you guys have created and how how that works? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the passkey flow is um, it's super nice to get onboarded, right? So it's just a link. So when someone has an existing chat and you want to add someone new into that chat, all you have to do is send them a link and they click that link and then they can actually face ID when they get the app. So they face ID and then a passkey will be created uh, on their device. And then that passkey will actually be used uh, on chain to um, to check against your signatures, right? So whenever you make a transaction uh, on this sort of a kind of transaction wallet, it will be signed with the passkey and then verified on chain. And um, whenever you're whenever you're 
posting that transaction through like a 4337 bundler. So um, it just sort of abstracts the need for this um, C phrase at all. Got it. And then is this built on mobile or desktop? So it's mobile at the minute. We think uh, since we're going to be like chat based, mobile just really lends itself well to that style of interaction. You know, you want to be able to react quickly. Uh, you want to have it always in your pocket so that you can actually just take part in discussions and stuff like that. Um, in time, obviously, we will sort of broaden out and maybe build um, like a web-based version where you can maybe get much more in-depth analysis of your portfolio, things like this. Uh, but for now, we just really want to get it into people's pockets and um, this happen chatting like, like they would in normal chat. Got it. Are you targeting entirely new crypto communities? Or are you trying to migrate existing multiplayer groups to forum? So at the minute, the stage that we're at, it's definitely trying to migrate people across. So we, kn we know people are going to be discussing um, different aspects of like their, their safe or if they want to, you know, manage um, a competition on Joe Grace. Like there's, there's no built in chat here. So uh, the communication can sometimes like break down and you've got to be checking like whether the vote's gone through and, and whatnot. So definitely first off is targeting people who are already there in crypto. And then later down the line, we have this super like easy pass key onboarding. So new people coming in and forming groups, like they, they will be able to do it super easily uh, without ever really having to have been in an existing DAO before. Got it. How are you guys thinking about your monetization model? So we really have three stages to it at the minute. Uh, we used to be much more on, on the wallet side, but now that we've actually pivoted or maybe just repositioned towards like a, a wider um, discoverability section. We, ha we have one side of it, which is that multiplayer protocols that exist can um, have some space on like these discoverability pages, which is appealing to them because they get more people rooted through to their protocol and appealing to us because it gives much more uh, attractive, you know, things for people to discover when they come into crypto. Once people have imported, say, like a safe and they have a XMTP group chat on forum, we can actually build in some like sort of ease of use features similar to like what Don had with um, these like uh, automated transaction builders. So you can actually really easily build transactions for your safe and then maybe even say like slash summarize and then summarize all the discussion that your DAO has had uh, over time. So we can sort of do like monthly subscription fees to sign up for these sorts of features. And then the sort of bottom of funnel here is that after new users get invited in to forum through one of these passkey links, they actually get created a forum account. And at that level, it's a, like an account abstraction account where we can uh, create like plugin modules. And those plugin modules can have like a subscription fee to sign up to and take some commission on trades as well. So we've kind of got those, those three parts, the, the discoverability, the chat itself, and then the lower level wallets. Got it. I'm going to do one last question. So given the network effects of platforms like Discord and Telegram, how do you think about the go-to-market and acquisition of, of groups? So our go-to-market is really just to take this one, one protocol at a time. Like, as we said, like safe is going to be the first one because we know for a fact, like ourselves and a lot of our like friends are, are involved in safes. And the thing is that each of these people who's in a safe, they tend to be in more than one. So if we can onboard these sort of single uh, single use cases who we know, their friends can then sort of in, in import their uh, like wider circle of friends, and we can expand out into this existing uh, safe ecosystem. Um, and then for the sort of more general approach that we're that we're taking here is that you can actually connect like Farcaster and Lens. So we're building into a maturing web three social space, um, and so discoverability and like go to market here can can sort of go hand in hand. That's people can form communities around things that maybe we haven't even, you know, found for yet. Like CFs is an obvious use case, but there's just also a lot of room to build into here into Web3 Social. Got it. Well, thanks so much, James.